Little Nick inside the off stump and this is just a wonderful fight back. Yeah, a wonderful fight back from England as, as you quite rightfully say after a very good start from South Africa. Fit off the bowl there, picking up the wicket of Hans of Tronje and Lance Kluzner on your screen there. He's now the new batsman, promoted up the order from number nine to come in at number seven. It's a big wicket of Hansi Cronje, 16. Sort of guy who likes to be round at the end, can run well between wickets, particularly with Jonty Rhodes. So that's a very big wicket. And England, I'd say, just in front of this game. Yes, you'd, uh, you'd have to say that after an interesting start. Angus Fraser is going to come back into the attack. That's where the scorecard stands at the moment. 147 for five. In South Africa, 111 was put on by Kirsten and also Gibbs. And then they've really fallen apart since then. But this man in at the moment, Lance Klusner, he's in fine form. He played a lone hand against Sri Lanka earlier in this tournament. And Jonty Rhodes, well, you can never give up on him. He loves a challenge. And there's certainly one out there at the moment. Very good challenge out there at the moment. And I think this is a good move from the South Africans. They've been under pressure. They've just lost four wickets for something like 40 runs after the opening stand of 111. And you can see his average of 41 and a half is very good for a man as low as he does. And his job will be quite simple. Uh, he'll play the big shots. Johnny Rhodes will do the running. That'll be, that'll be about the, how, how this partnership will work. But best of 103. An average of 41. Nine fifties and... At 156 matches is very good for a man that bats as low down as he does. I think good thinking from the point of view of Alex Stewart here as well. Klusner likes to get on with it. He likes to get a bit of room and play some shots. Angus Fraser, he's a miserly fella. Thought of an overthrow. Not on. Alex Stewart throwing down the stumps and... Angus Fraser can get his line and length right. Could bring some frustration to the play of Clues now. This ball just about sums it up. Angus Fraser's going to try and bowl fairly tight. Lance Clues plays a big shot and heads off for a run. Just gets set back wisely by Johnny Rhodes. Boy, that's close. And he just got back there. Obviously got the field spread too, spread, spread as well. Um, Neil Fairbrother, the fieldsman there at, uh, at mid-on. Very deep. Uh, obviously expecting Lance Clusen to play a lot of big shots. Almost prepared to give him one. Get Johnny Rose on strike. So there's some respect shown to the, to the new batsman. Not more than you'd expect that from a new batsman, but all the players on that inner circle not, not, not prepared to give him the big shots. not the prettiest of players in Ants Klusner. He has a wonderful strike rate and excellent average for where he comes in because there's a lot of pressure on down the order. But he seems most of the time to be only moving his foot straight down the wicket but keeps his head very still and can play wide of his body. Tails up and 49 for five. And at the end of this Nissan competition, we will draw one entry at random. He moves the ball, he's such a jackrabbit, he's on the go all the time. Well, I think that's what makes him a perfect one day player. We all know how well he can feel in that backward point position, but it's also with the bat in this situation batting with a person like Lance Kruzner who's on your, on your screen there. A big hitter, a noted big hitter. Um, Johnny Rhodes knows his job. Hit in the gaps, run hard. If there's chance of a, a two or a three, he'll push the fielder all the way. Uh, as you say, a jackrabbit, the sort of guy you want out there in the middle at this time of the game. I can feel so, 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 so. 
Got the treatment. That's exactly what Lance Klusner can do. He's a powerful player. When he gets his timing right, there's not many grounds in the world that can keep him inside. I think Lance Klusner is thinking about singles. He is a, there's a fielder in the way. His intention is pretty clear there. That, that's a good over from Andrew Fentoff. 166 for five. That really is quite difficult to explain, Mike. Everything that you did, that you said, I don't think you understand what you're doing. And my heart's back in slow. I think some of that rules in. Figure of around about 280, 290, Mark. Just short of the man in mid off. I've seen the batsman hit the ball in the air on so many occasions during uh, the South African innings and that uh, in itself must tell a bit of a story about the wicket. The ball not just coming on quite as quickly as the batsman expect. So it is a fraction on the slow side. If you bowl, that's a better looking shot, just a single. 173 for 7, just uh, Steve Elworthy and Alan Donald to come. It's leg side. Just a single though to Robert Croft, a fine leg. Change of the commentary box. Botham and Robin Jack. It's Mike. Struck away by Clusner. You look for two here and should get it. Two to get South Africa six and over just into the sort of uh, 110, 215, 217, somewhere around about there. It's also nicely placed. My oh, goodness, and he's hit it almost for four. It's the ball really deceptively hard, and it's Kuzner. I have to say, Jack is sitting, uh, walking around the ground and just uh, listen to the vibes from the, the punters. And they really are delighted to see an England fight back. They're struggling at one stage, they've clawed it back. And now, that's nicely played. Two more. Now, if an umpire will have a look at this, I'm not sure that McKnight doesn't keep his feet in the air. But he's close. I don't think they're going to make an inquiry. This is why Ian Botham would like to have a look at it. There, that actually hit the rope. Yes, twice. And I think the crowd, if anything, have brought it to the umpire's attention. That'll be four. But again, it's just like the run out earlier when there's a very, very close run out. I mean, it only takes a split second to us. Got the technology. Let's use it, boys. Yeah, just back to your comment on the England fight back. It um, was brilliant to see and it was wonderfully executed. It was basically down to two men along with the captain and the field placing and that sort of thing, but Mulali and Elam just strangled South Africa completely and in the meantime took wickets and it's changed the face of the whole game. And of course we'll now have the uh, advantage of having seen the pace of the pitch and be able to gauge how they go about whatever it is they have to get. It certainly isn't going to be 
an impossible total. No, and I think maybe some credit to Alex Stewart. Perhaps he's read the wicket very well and won the toss. Still had no hesitation in putting South Africa in. It's too wide from Flintoff. The left-hander releases his arms and gets four for it. 12 off the over, 186 for seven. Happy to give Klusman a single by putting a fielder, or one of the fielders that has to be in the circle, right on the very limit of it. For two here, it will be tight. Perhaps he won't. Fielder, six off the over, 192 for seven. Salvage things for his country. Flintoff. That's good from Goff. And Flintoff knows it. And Lance Cruz is a little disappointed. He knew it was a free hit. A line to bowl when you find legs up. And off. Looking after his young teammate. Excellent stop. This time making sure he saved the bounce. This is one of the singles from the over. England will settle for that. 197 for 7. David Lloyd, a happy coach, no doubt. Not everyone in life has got a hero. I'm standing in the red inside of play for a Fumble might result, result in a run out. No, it doesn't. Bouncer gets back, clues the kick to strike. Knight, who's on for Adam Lally, has it. He's one of England's better fields. That just bobbled a little bit in front of him, but that's what happens when you run the first one. I oh, like these stuff and batsmen did. Should can't help but have a little glance up to see what's going on. It's two runs. It's well bowled. Wonderful bowling. Cut that for six. Line, isn't it as well? Isn't it? Um, any room to get those arms free? Excellent ball. up the South African 200. And just three overs to go after this one. Extra time and he needs the score to stay in the Premier or in, sorry in the Football League. A man called I think it was Jimmy Glass did it. He's a hero in Carlisle. It's terrific bowling from Darren Goff. Every delivery he's bowled to Clues has landed virtually in exactly the same place. Kuzner, 33 from 31. It's well bowled. It's the one right up there. The length. Hey, kid. Right Don't time. ever let them get Sorry. inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you can get Don't let them guide your life towards your bread I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my head It's a little loud uh... High on the bat, but it doesn't quite reach Nick Knight at long on. It's well stopped by Stewart. Come off 
off the bat. That's a great take, isn't it? Oh, yes, he's just got a little inside edge on Maybe one. opportunity. Stole the second. Game in this field. Nice. Guilty man. Let's see the start of this game. Jackson with a sat here. So that's Nasser nice Hussain. So the two best English fielders are humbled. I was say, I thought the South Africans in the field were worth 25 runs over England. Let's see. It'll be valuable. Oh, that's up in the stands. That's what that misfield caused. Cluzer on strike still. Well, that's what the game's all about. Terrific, isn't he? He's such a dangerous competitor. Cruz now found the ball. The young man can throw it back in, onto the field. Clean strike this is. The first one he's been able to get his arms up. So he really does love striking this ball. 44 not out now. Four deliveries to go. So they're good innings. He's hit that away, wide of long off. He should cut it off and does. Flint off the fielder. Kuzma keeps the strike, and why is he so? I think there was an opportunity of three there. No, there's nothing wrong with this. The ball's a long way away from Andy Flint off when he hits the ropes. Down whatsoever. Just the two. Well, the wicket fell on Nelson. One, one, one. We have double. It's gone out on the offside. Kuzma loses the strike. Some wonderful bowling from man in picture and others. Mark Elam earlier in the afternoon, brilliantly backed up by Alan Mullally, or you can call it the other way around. Alex Stewart got it all right. I thought there was some discussion up here as to whether maybe Robert Croft might have had a bowl towards the end there. But uh, I think England overall, Ian Botham, will be pretty pleased with 2 2 6 to get. I mean, I'd be delighted. 100 and. Checking that out, it's 111 without loss. South Africa to 225 for seven at the end. I have to say, using the old cliche, it was a game of two halves. It's getting back onto Alan Donald coming in second change. I know it's something the Australians have discussed. Just watch this ball from Klusner. Absolute scream of a catch, Johnny Rhodes. We'll just go, we'll go back to live commentary at the over. Well, it is quite spectacular, isn't it? Well, Cross shakes his head. He probably felt he had four runs. But pretty firmly, not quite where he intended, sliced a bit. John T. Rose knows he can only just get a hand to it, but look at that for concentration. He is special. Very, very special. Congratulated by his teammates, Robert Croft leaves the field. He's gone for 12, England now 78 for 7.